Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for taking the time to listen to my video. I want to talk with you and let you realize that God can reach into a crowd and just grab you. God can see a multitude and realize you are the one that's truly willing to serve him and you are truly reaching out to him in spirit and in truth and reach out throughout the multitude and the unbelieving and pull you out and grab a hold of you. You can cause the Lord to stand up just as when Stephen was being crucified. I'm sorry, Stephen was being stoned to death. As he was being stoned, the heavens opened up and Stephen said, I see the Son of God standing. You know, Jesus is seated at the right hand of the Father, but yet there are times where he will stand up. And when you're pressing into God, it could be a multitude of people, it could be a group of people, but he can feel and know and truly feel when your heart is for him, when your heart is broken and contrite and truly ready for him. And he'll stand up and he will reach out for you and he'll pull you out. This is what people need to understand. Sometimes you could be in a, at a place, whether you went to a conference, whether you're in a church building, whether you're in a group of people, whether you're in a prayer group, whatever it may be, God wants you to keep the focus on him. He wants us to keep the focus on him. When you see people being delivered, keep the focus on God. When you see people being truly delivered, I should say, keep the focus on God. Because a lot of people are looking at the pastors. A lot of people are looking at the prophets. A lot of people are looking at the bishops. A lot of people are getting caught up in the venues and the events and thinking, I need to go to a conference to be delivered. I need to go to this church to be delivered. I need to be, and once you get delivered at the church, now you're focused on the church and on the pastor and the focus is off of God. Well, God has laid it on my heart to speak to the people that they must keep their focus on the Lord because he is the one that does the work. The vessel is just a vessel, is just a vessel, is just a vessel. God has the power and the focus needs to be on God. Very often people, we want to associate themselves and identify with someone and even elevate people that God is using. They elevate an event because they went to a conference and were delivered. Then they become conference groupies or conference junkies seeking out that feeling again. Because they were delivered at a church, they start to become a pastor junkie. They're looking at that man or woman of God that the Lord used or that place. I have to go here. I have to go here. This is where I will be delivered. But the focus is God. God is the one that works miracles. And when he, and when he, even in places where his Holy Spirit has left, he will send his angels or he will sense that in a church or a place where it's all superficial and the people are not serving God, where the Holy Spirit has left a long time ago, he will come for that person that's in there that is truly seeking him out. They may not know better because they're a babe in Christ. And they're just desperate for the Lord. Whatever, their, whatever their, their status may be, he will come and he will work a miracle. He will cause them to be delivered. He will cause them to be set free. But sometimes, sometimes that person upon being delivered can think this is the place in which I was delivered and lose focus. This is the person, this is the book I read by this author and I was delivered. And they can become fixated on the author. They can come, become fixated on the church. And God wants people to focus on him and realize that the Lord will enter into the depths of hell to come and get you. When he can hear your cries and sense that your heart is in a place to truly turn, he will come and he will get you. He can fill a person with the Holy Spirit in a place where they are not serving God. But what will happen is people will look at it and say, oh, this man or woman of God has done this great work. But it is because the Lord can feel the tug of their hearts, feel the tug in his heart 
for them as their heart truly is open and laid bare before him. It's just in my heart to say to my brothers and sisters in the Lord, to keep your focus on God. Your deliverance and, and your salvation does not come from man. It does not come from a conference. It does not come from a church. It does not come from a group. It does not come from a book. The Lord reaches out to you because you know there's someone that can read the same book that you read or that I've read in the past and nothing happens. They feel nothing. Have you ever listened to a song and you were so moved by it and you cried and you cried and the Holy Spirit came down and you were just worshiping and an awesome, just a, you just have a, a wonderful encounter with the Lord. And then you try to do that same thing again with that song again, and it does not happen again. You may be moved by the lyrics, but you don't have that same encounter. Why? It has nothing to do with the music. It has nothing to do with what a great songwriter it is, that person is. They may pull on your pull on your the music may tug on your heart because that that is what music does, but you will not continue to have that same encounter where the Holy Spirit fell on you over and over again. Because it is not at, it's not because of the music, but his power. And then there's a song that may move you. And then you play that same song to someone else and they're looking like, what? There's a book you read and it changed your life. You just confessed and you turned to the Lord. And someone else may read that same book and feel nothing because it's not about the book. Yes, it may have been the medium, the source of which the Lord uh, used to touch you, but it's by his spirit. He is the one that delivers us. And it's just imperative that I say to you all to keep your focus on the Father, to keep your focus on God, because people are losing the way. He delivers, not us. Let's keep your focus on God. I'm not saying that you cannot, in a church where they're truly serving the Lord, enter in in fellowship. I'm not saying that. But what is happening is there needs to be a healthy perspective that is kept on where the power truly lies. That when you have that encounter with God, where you get that breakthrough and that outpouring, that you don't become fixated on the venue, the place, the event, or the person through which it was done, and keep your focus on God. Hope this makes sense. God bless.